Well, right now in the, the world, the world as we see it is moving at a very fast pace with regards to financial technology. And uh, as we speak, because of that, we are enlightening people as to what's happening because a lot of changes taking place right now, especially in the world of money. And uh, people are now choosing smart money, digital currency, cryptocurrency as a form of payment. So in Bonnet, what we are doing is enlightening people. We are educating people as to the benefits of using cryptocurrency, in particular dark coin, because what we are doing is giving people the opportunity to see that money can function with regards to a digital perspective the same way it functions as the the paper currency that we have. Because paper currency itself is, is really something that is, I don't want to use, it's a strong kind of word, but it's dying. More and more people are moving towards a digital uh, currency, as we know, uh, with the banking system in the world right now. Most of the time, you don't see your money. You know, when you get paid, it moves from the bank in digital format into your account, and you go to the ATM machine, you take it out, you know, or you use your credit card. But now, payments itself has evolved into a space where we see cryptocurrency, digital money as being something that in the next five, ten years is going to become normal. You know, so in Bonnet at this moment, that's what we're actually doing, educating people as to what's happening. Um, as you're mentioning, um, cryptocurrency is the future. Um, how do you see that working on the island? Because knowing um, Bonaire is mostly right now, um, people like to use cash and people will have the understanding, okay, I have this cryptocurrency, but how can I get it to my local bank account? Because people would like to think like that. Yeah, I mean, the thing is with Bonnet is like most people use paper currency right now. But in reality, in Bonnet, because of the ecotourism, we have people from all over the world coming into Bonnet. People who are already in the first world countries who use the digital technology. What, we're doing, what we are doing right now is very, very important because we are educating the Bonnet uh, population at this moment. We are educating them because it's inevitable with regards to digital technology. It is something that I believe will take a couple of years for it to segue into mainstream technology. But I was saying to a group of people I was just speaking with, we are actually ahead of time with regards to the information we are giving people. So it is something because it is something that uh, when you see young people using a technology, when you see modernization picking up with money, it's like emails. Years ago, we sent uh, you know, pen pals with write letters. Many years ago, to get information, we had to go to an encyclopedia. Now we do it with Google. You know, even if you look at YouTube, long ago, everything you had to wait for MTV or BET or, or you know, the long ago we had different things. Now you see everything online. The thing is, the technology has changed the way we do everything. And we believe the only, or shall I say, the only major industry that has not been touched seriously yet is the financial industry. So as we speak, it may not be something that they are going to change in overnight, like in a year or two, but we believe over the next five, 10 years, it is going to be normal in Borneo.